Barakallahu fikum.
Can I just ask you people to stop arguing and let the brothers go or sit down and listen to the rest of the session. Go oh, grab it. Yusuf, just bring that brother over here. Just tell our brothers to sit down. No, brothers, we made their point. No worry, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Can you all sit down now? Don't worry. Please. <laughs> How many times do I have to ask you? Don't worry, Akhi. They want me, Akhi. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Don't worry, inshallah. Don't worry, Zakul Akhi. Don't worry, inshallah. They're our brothers too. That's right. Let's leave it at that. They made the point. Yeah? Brothers, sit down. They're our brothers. We love them. We love them from the bottom of our heart. Come on, sit down. Let's continue. Brother, you want, you want to do ask a question? Don't worry, if you're going to ask a question, it's a topic. If it's not something like this, you got something else to present as well, is it? Okay. One question and one possible correction about your speech. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, inshallah. You're more than welcome. Uh, first of all, in your speech, you mentioned that shame you from the mosque. That's right. I totally disagree with that. That's right. Shame upon the people who run the mosque. That's Shame upon people who donate to the mosque for their own intention. And I think you need to correct yourself in public. Inshallah. These are the best places. Allah, 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 it uh, should not be in the best of words that I use, maybe my zeal, my passion, but I'm sure like you understood and many people understood that it's not the mosques, it's the people that run the mosques. So I will clarify that. Like said, when people are listening to your talk, when people, the non-Muslim will listen to your talk, it's a totally... Um, do forgive me, brother. I have highlighted, I have apologized. There's okay, nothing to no, say. Okay. Inshallah, I'm a human being, akhi, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. I didn't classify them. Okay? They, they don't have the courtesy to even write salam on a piece of paper. They've quoted, ver they've, they've posted, they've made a comment. If anybody knows about tafsir the Quran, as salamu ala man ittaba al huda, it should be written for whom? You, you read this topic about what they've written. I'm not mentioning anyway, Now, but I'm asking you a simple question as a Muslim, okay? am I Muslim or a non Muslim? You, you should know better. If you believe in Allah and if you believe in the Prophet, if you believe in the writer, um, is, is and I and do. Under. That's right. That's, That's right. That's right. So That's right. Like I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. That's right. I agree with you. So that, that's okay. But like I said, that's a different topic in itself. You mentioned the, um, the brother who left. If there, if there's no different Islam on there, that's a bad issue. Um, it'd be interesting now that you read the topic, though, whether you will accept mm -hmm. the challenge of brother Islam. Well, okay. Would you Let like him say, to leave him alone, leave him alone, it's fine, it's okay, at least he's conducted that, it's fine, it's fine, no, brother, don't no, worry. No. Sit down, he's no, asking if no. that brother did know something. No, That's fine, inshallah. Zakallah khair. Barakallah fiqh. Zakallah khair. The question is, if you didn't talk about this, if a person is intoxicated, yeah. and if you give uh, the divorce, how to talk about it? Can you leave the brother alone, please? The brother hasn't said anything wrong or incorrect, inshallah. Okay, brother, you ask a question, please. I am talking, you need to listen. I'm not criticizing the brothers that left. Brother, learn. I'm not criticizing the brothers that left. No, 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 I said shit. No, I'm not calling him a shit. Shit, he's a respectable word. Shit, I'm not calling him a shit. Shit, I'm not if you want an argument, brother, I'm welcome for an argument. But okay, nobody wants no arguments, brother. Put your question forward. Before you talk. Put your question forward. Brother, we're all human beings. Come on. Anybody can make a mistake. Brother, please put your question forward. Do you want to put your question forward, brother? 
It is a difference of opinion amongst the Fuqah. Some have gone to the view that the person has lost their person has lost their senses, so it's going to be invalid. Some have gone to a harsher view that because a person has gone to a state of intoxication, that the divorce stands. So it's something of fiqh masail, a different fuqah, have taken a different stance upon that. So we have to go back and look at the works of fiqh, etc. You know, some, like I said, we go to the view that it does not stand, the person is not in their senses. And I would say that the person has taken these substances, and because of that sin of taking the substances, it does stand. So this is fiqh masail that we can debate about. As for your, your comment about brother Asad, etc., you know, I already raised the concern at the end of the day. Uh, as I said to you, brother, you may uh, recognize me, alhamdulillah, as a Muslim. But the comment that's begun with, and I've said this to Brother Asrar many times, and I've sat to him on an individual basis, that this needs to be some common agenda at the end of the day. You can see the current climate, the current behavior and etiquette of certain individuals which may be around Brother Asrar and maybe around myself as well. So you can see that environment. You're a sensible individual. Can you conclude now that there seems to be some, some good etiquette or behavior in us debating about these issues? I can't, tonight we saw what took place. And it's quite simple that some of us can't control it, whether it be from brothers who attended or organized this event, or these young brothers who came to this event. So I, as an individual, I'm not here to create any fitna or facade. I dispute with, the, with, with Brother Asrar. He does not agree with me. I spoke to him one-to-one -one basis. I said, Brother, you don't agree with my views. I've never insinuated any comments about yourself. I've highlighted some points that I don't agree with. Here's my evidences. I'm not obliged to come out in a public domain and to have a debate. You can see the climate at the moment. This is going to some people at a raised level. It could even be bloodshed. That's how the level it is. You're a sensible individual, and he's supposed to be a sensible individual as well. And like I said, we don't begin such comments. The intent is quite clear. This ayah in the Quran, wassalamu ala man huda, is used for people who are non-Muslims. I've never classified any Muslim as a mushrik. I've clarified that with him face to face. An action of shirk does not make you a mushrik. An action of kufr doesn't make you a kafir. Anybody who knows principles of usul of the Quran and tafsir knows that. If you say this action is a shirk, don't jump the gun and say, I call excuse expression you or people believe this belief as being mushriks or if I do an action of kufr as Ibn Taymiyyah in his books highlights doesn't mean you're kafir they're twisting my words and saying he calls people you can see the whole intent accusation of shirk and kufr I'm not making accusations that this person this person is a mushrik or kafir I've made this belief is an incorrect belief which I'm entitled to likewise he could say my belief is incorrect end of subject finish I'm not here to argue with people or to champion people or to send people I came here all on my own tonight as an individual I didn't come with a crowd of individuals to chant at people to abuse people basic etiquettes are not there he's not able to control himself his messages on YouTube are quite clear the way he conducts he behaves towards myself the language he uses and then he expects me to come in an orderly manner to come and debate with the individual I'll say it in public if he can beat me in a debate I have no problems I have no problems. If you, everybody thinks I refuse to debate him, I have no problems. I have no ego. I have nothing to prove. My case lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I've clarified that many times in my lecture about is the Prophet Muhammad some nude light? I never attacked any individual. I said, these are my evidences I believe in. And I proved inside that some ulama tafasir even accepted the Prophet is nude, is light. I concluded that. So my intent is not a malice intent. Snippets of my talks have been taken to create the atmosphere. He is trying to say bad things about us. I respected him and I said to him, brother, go and look at the average belief of a Muslim inside our country. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't they come to graves? Don't they rub their faces on graves? Don't they ask on the graves? Is that more dangerous or am I more dangerous at the moment? Who's more dangerous at the moment? Am I a dangerous individual? That creed that you know and I know, I lived for many years in that country. We see it today amongst our parents, amongst our people. They throw perfumes on pictures. They worship the saints. They believe that they can enter, intercede with them openly. I'm not against intercession. I'm not against, as you mentioned, the Prophet Muhammad will intercede for us. He's been given the total intercession. He will intercede for his ummah. I believe in that. I don't, I'm not against that. But I'm saying close the doors of what these other things people are believing. Why are you opening the doors? He admits that these things are wrong. So address these issues. Why worry about me? Who am I? If I'm no one, he said according to his own words, he can rip me apart in an hour. Then Alhamdulillah, they can rip me apart in an hour. I've got nothing to lose. Tell the brothers, they can rip me apart in an hour. I've got nothing to lose in my life. I'm not here to argue with him or to debate with him. I have nothing to prove in my life. And I say in public in front of everyone, give them the message. He can debate me and he can possibly even beat me in my debate. I've got nothing to worry about.
My case lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah. Allah. Allah.